Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we are in Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to be talking about how you can fix dropped frames uh, within your stream as well as stream lag. Now I'm going to preface this and this tutorial and say that a lot of this is dependent upon your network connection. Uh, so how fast is your network? Uh, more specifically, your upload speed. I really don't care about your download. How fast is your upload speed? And you can check that by going to speedtest.net, as I did here, and then hitting the Go button, and it'll tell you what your ping is, uh, what your download, and what your upload is. I'm getting anywhere from 10 to 15 upload. I tested it a few times, so let's just say I'm averaging out around 12, which is just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hop back over now to Streamlabs and kind of show you exactly kind of what I'm talking about. So once you're within Streamlabs, uh, there's a few settings that you can tweak and kind of fix that can help you eliminate the dropped frames and the stream lag that you're getting. And again, you could apply all of these and it may not fix your problem, but I'm going to show you the ones that I would go ahead and implement now. And I think it would definitely make a positive difference. So a good rule of thumb for upload is that if you have six to seven megabits a second, you're good to stream at 1080p. But anything less than that, you may want to go over to video under settings and then go to output resolution. And then you can see here, you can drop that down to uh, something less than 1080p, maybe 720 uh, is something that you want to do. Uh, the base canvas resolution, uh, it just depends on the monitor that you're using. I'm using a 2560 by 1440 for my main canvas monitor, but yours more than likely will be either 1920 or the one that I have here. So make sure that that correct monitor scaling is correct. And then if you need to go and actually take the output resolution, which is what people are going to be seeing when they watch your stream and you need to change that, uh, a lot of people are trying to stream the 2560 by 1440 uh, and to match their their monitor. I'll tell you that just I probably wouldn't do that. There's really no need to do that because it's getting compressed to all heck uh, when it's going out using these streaming services. So uh, anything above or better than 1920 by 1080. Uh, right now is just not the way to go. Uh, under downscale filter, make sure it is bicubic or bilinear. Uh, it's going to be, bilinear is going to be faster, but it's blurrier if it's scaling. And bicubic says it's sharpened scaling 16 samples. I like to use mine on cubic here, but you can adjust that and see which one works best for you. Uh, leave everything else here the same. I wouldn't adjust any of that right now. Now, the next thing I want you to do is go to the output settings, which is the third one down there underneath stream. And we'll go ahead and start from the top. So under output mode, go ahead and select advanced. Uh, down here under encoder, uh, just depending on kind of what you have, if you have one of the new NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, you can choose the NVENC option uh, or even the new NVENC option. I would Google those, but normally you're probably going to want to use the X264 option. Basically what this is doing, I'm not going to get too techy here for you, is basically determining whether it's coming from your CPU or GPU as far as the stream goes. So I'd leave this X264, maybe tweak with that and see if that's going to give you, maybe you have a newer graphics card uh, and then you can choose the NVNC option. Uh, and that will help you kind of reduce the lag or the drop frames that you're getting. I'm going to leave mine at X264 uh, right now. Under rate control, you want to go ahead and do and select the CBR option. That stands for constant bit rate. Now, bit rate is a big one. This is where a lot of the problems lie when it comes to people getting a lot of stream lag and dropped frames is that they're setting their bit rate to something like outrageous, like 9,000 or 8,500 or even 10,000 and beyond, I would start at 4,000. So I'd start my bit rate at 4,000. And normally a good rule of thumb here is five to seven uh, megabits a second upload. You can normally set this to 4,000 bit rate for a 1080p output resolution and you are good to go. Now, if you on your upload have anything, you know, 10, 12, 15, 25 upload, you know, megabits per second upload, you can adjust this here uh, and go anywhere from, you know, 5,000 all the way up to 7,500 and beyond, depending on, again, your network connection. And a pro tip here, I highly encourage you to connect your streaming PC via Ethernet and not have it connected via a wireless network, because if it's connected via a wireless network, you're going to get a lot more interference than if you're going straight to the source there uh, being plugged in directly to an Ethernet connection. Also, 
this one, it seems like it's common sense, but you also probably want to make sure that number one, you don't have a whole bunch of applications running on your machine that can affect it as well as the amount of devices that are connected to your network at the time that can also affect it if different devices are pulling bandwidth from it as well. So play with your bit rate, start at 4,000. If you see in a smooth and buttery smooth from 4,000, maybe go up in increments of 250 or 500 and see which one kind of gets you to that uh, place where you are seeing some stream quality uh, degradation. And then once you're there, then decrease it down from that to find that perfect bit rate number. But I definitely would start at 4,000 here. This number here is a big deal and it definitely will have something to do with why you're getting drop frames or stream lag. Everything else here, CPU usage, very fast profile, number, all of this stuff here, you can leave the same. Now, in closing, there are other things that you can do outside of Streamlabs that might be affecting or you might can do to help you with your lag or drop frames. Uh, I've already mentioned the Ethernet cable, uh, eliminating other devices, but you, you could flush your DNS. Uh, again, that's getting very techy. I would Google that uh, to get a full tutorial on just doing that. And there are other things kind of inside the system where you can go and pull up like IP config and see kind of what's using the network at the, at the moment. And then you can eliminate those if that's the case. But again, I would stick to these settings within Streamlabs OBS, figure out which ones are working for you and then go from there. Also a pro tip here, please don't confuse lag and dropped frames with you just having a camera and audio source that are not synced. There are other video tutorials. I have one on my channel that'll show you how to sync your audio and video. So it doesn't look like one of those old Japanese uh, cartoons where the, the mouth is moving, but the voice is either before or after it. That has nothing to do with lag or dropped frames or stream quality. That has to do with you going in and adjusting milliseconds, uh, your audio to match your video. And there's, there's ways to go about doing that within Streamlabs. You can find that tutorial out there. That is not drop frames. That is not stream lag. That's just you needing to go in and adjust a couple of settings and tweaking a few things to get the, the voice and the video matching up. Now, if you have any other questions about Streamlabs OBS, I have a ton of Streamlabs OBS tutorials. Uh, I'll link the playlist down below. Uh, if this video helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any further questions on doing anything that I just mentioned or maybe even adding on to something that you did to fix yours, please put that in the comment section below to help other people as well. Thank you guys as always for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.